بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ليسون فور على أدرس اللغة العربية so إن شاء الله today we are in lesson four أوكي ألويا yes teacher read it okay teacher بسم الله in this lesson we learn the use of prepositions Arabic nouns Uh, sorry, number one. Arabic nouns have endings to show their functions in the sentence. The normal ending of a noun is U as in Albaitu Jadidun. The house is new. A noun with the normal ending is called Marfo. Af Marfo. <laughs> sorry, teacher, I'm used to. Okay. After a proper. Mm -hmm. uh, after a preposition, this ending changes to I. Kasra. E. Example, Kasra. Okay. Yeah, Just now was Doma and now Kasra, right? No, Doma. Kasra. Okay. Yes. yes. So, I'll buy to the house. Feel by the in the house. By tun. A house, B, B by in a house. Al maktubu, the table. Al, al maktab, al maktabu, sorry, teacher. Al maktabu, the table. Al, al maktabi, on the table. A noun preceded by a preposition is said to be majrur. Majrurun. Alwia. So, what's marfu, Alwia? Uh, marfu is uh, if the if it's a, a normal uh, sorry a noun then the usually the normal ending is with the doma. The normal ending with the in the Arabic nouns. A noun with the normal ending is called the normal ending. So marfu. Okay. Sorry. Like yeah, this. Shadidun. This is a. Is marfo. Yeah, this is mar marfo, but it's not a noun. It's an adjunct. Here, by two is marfo. The normal ending of Arab of the Arabic nouns is called marfo. So you have to keep in mind in that the normal ending of the Arabic nouns is called marfo. What's majrur? Marfo. Majrur is whatever. Uh, Noun that comes after a proposition. After a proposition. And noun preceded by a proposition is said to be mar, majrur. Majrur. Al al maktabi. Al maktabi is majrur. Fil baitin. Baitin is majrur. Majrur. Fil bayti. Bayti is majrur. Majrur. Yes. So, inshallah, also keep in mind that. Okay, Nuranisa. Inshallah. Yes, teacher, I'm here. What's marfu? Uh, marfu is normal ending. Uh, normal ending. Uh, in Arabic noun. The normal ending. Uh, in Arabic, Arabic normal noun. ending in Arabic. Arabic nouns. Yes. Yes, yeah, the normal ending of the Arabic nouns. What is matrur? Uh, majru is a preposition. Uh, majru is a noun after uh, uh, came after preposition. The preposition, okay. So inshallah, keep in mind in that because you have to memorize these things. What is marfu? What is majru? All that it will become the lessons will become easy for you, inshallah. So Nuranisa, number two. Uh, in this lesson, we also learn. Uh, in this lesson, we also learn uh, the two pr pronouns: "hua" he e he it, and "he she it." In Arabic, all nouns are either masculine and feminine. Okay. Uh, a masculine noun is or feminine. Uh, a masculine noun is referred to by uh, the pr pronoun who uh, 
what what whatever it uh, donates a whether it donates a human being and an norm uh, an animal or a thing uh, and example where is the boy first the arabic then i translation okay aina al wal waldu aina aina al waldu shon them together aina al waladu aina al waladu where is the boy where is the boy huwa where is the boy huwa fi fi في مسجد هو المسجد هو في الجوين هو هو في هو في الجوين the fa with the al هو في المسجد هو في المسجد he is a mosque He's in the mosque. So, He's in the mosque, yes. Okay. Continue. Nuranista, continue. Uh, the word the word uh, the word fi 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 has a has a long i kasra has a long uh, has a, has a long kasra but uh, when it is followed by al and kasra is uh, shortened because in arabic language vowels are not followed by a consonant which has no vowel fil fil okay so here we have to know that the word fi has long kasra but when it's when it is followed by al the kasra is shortened like here we have here let me show you fi fi baitin fi baitin we are pronouncing long kasra fiya there's a noun which have alif lam so fil fil baiti it's shortened mm -hmm. okay alvia yes uh, okay, the, the next example. Aina kitabu. Where is the book? Hua alal maktabi. It is on the table. And a feminine noun is referred to by the pronoun here, whether it denotes a human being, an animal, or a thing. Example Aina amina tu. Where is amina? Ya fil baiti. She is in the house. Aina saatu. Where is the watch? Ya ala sariri. It is on the bed. Most feminine nouns end with a round ta or ta marbuta, but there are some which do not have any special ending. Mm -hmm. So here we have to know that. Hua is a mas it, the masculine noun is referred to be to by the pronoun hua, whether it donates human being, an animal, or a thing. You'll use for hua, a masculine thing. When it's referred to masculine, when it's referred to feminine, whether it's human, whether it donates human beings, an animal, or a thing. Here. So I hope you understand, inshallah. 
Okay, Alvia, continue. Okay, teacher. No, number one, we have learned that the win is the indefinite article. Example, by tun, a house. This rule does not apply to proper nouns. Hamidu is just Hamid, not a Hamid. So number two, feminine proper nouns have no tanwin. Example, Fatima tu, Zainabu Aminatu. Yes, and here we have learned that we have learned that tanwin is the indefinite article. Indefinite article. Ah, uh, by tun a house. So we can't if in this one like Hamidun, it has a tanwin. We can't say a Hamidun. It's just we are saying the name Hamid. And uh, we have to also keep in mind that feminine verb pronouns have no tanwin. Okay, vocabulary. Because there's only two of you here today. Nurenisa? I'm here, teacher. Read the vocabulary. Uh, okay. Um, al alayin. Ala. This is not here. This is Alif Maksura. So, ala on. Ala on. Uh, al al as sama as sama as sama sky this one have a shadda this doesn't have a shadda so you have to pronounce the lam alfasla Alpha Slu Alpha classroom Al uh, Al Amir Ja Amir Jadu Al Mira Al Mirhadu Al Mirhadu toilet Aina where Gur Gurf Gurfatun Gurfatun Room Ahlam Here we Ahlam. have Don't have ha we have ha ha uh, Alhamamu, Alhamamu, bathroom, bathroom. Uh, Almat, Almat, Almat ba, Almat ba khu, khu, Almat ba khu, kitchen. Almat ba khu, kitchen, okay. Almat ba khu, kitchen, uh, fi, fi, in. So here also we have lesson 4A. Okay, here we are learning two more propositions. And also we are learning here the feminine and the plural forms. No, we are learning, we are also learning two more pronouns. I mean, sorry, two more pronouns and two more propositions. Alvia? Yes, teacher. Read this. Okay. Uh, okay. Bismillah. In this part, we learn two more propositions. Min, meaning from, and ila, meaning to. We also learn two more pronouns. Ana, I, and anta, you. Ana, I, is for both masculine and feminine. Example, 
Ana Muhammadun. I am Muhammad. Ana Aminatu. I am Amina. But Anta, you, is only for masculine singular. You will learn the feminine and plural forms later. We also learn here two verbs. Dahaba, he went, and Kharaja, he went out. Note the following. Aina Biladu, where is Bilal? Dahaba ilal masjidi, he went to the mosque. Dahaba Biladun ilal masjidi, Bilal went to the mosque. So, Dahaba means he went, but if it is followed by a noun as the subject, the pronoun he is dropped. Correct, teacher? Yeah. Okay. So what's the mean of mean? From Bila to Anna I for Anna is for uh, feminine and masculine I Anta 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 is you. But you is uh, for masculine singular. The haba. The haba means he went. Karacha. He went out. Okay, continue. Okay, teacher. Mean. From if it is followed by al, it becomes mina. Al Islam, it becomes mina. Al Islam, yeah. Sorry. Al Islam. So I read the vocabulary teacher. Yeah, read the vocabulary also. Okay, teacher. Bismillah. Al Madrasatu. School, as a market, al jamiatu university, al Hindu India, al mudiru headmaster, al Filipino the Philippines, ila tu, al Yabanu Japan, asin China. China. So here we have also learned that the haba means he went, but if it is followed by a noun as the subject, the pronoun he is dropped. As you can see here, the haba ilal masjidi, the haba bilalun ilal masjidi. So the he is dropped here and here. Inshallah, I hope you guys understand. So, and here it started raining. So, if the network goes, it will be a problem. But we will continue until it goes. Inshallah, at the Surah lesson four, Al Baitu, the house, Fil Baiti. In the house, al masjidu, the mosque, fil masjidi, in the in the in the mosque, al maktabu, the desk, the desk, al al maktabi, on the desk, as sariru, the bed, al as sariri, on the bed. So here we have. Al Hawar a dialogue. Aina Muhammad. Where is Muhammad? Huwa fil qurfati. He is in the room. Wa Aina Yasirun. And where is Yasir? Huwa fil hamami. Huwa fil hamami. He is in the toilet, bathroom. Wa Aina Amina tu. And where is Amina? Hiya fil matbakhi. She is in the kitchen. 
aina al-kitabu wa ristabu huwa ala al-maktabi it is on the desk wa aina saatu an warista watch hiya ala sariri it is on the bed okay so i'll we have first read this and uh, the two of you also will exchange this dialogue inshallah but i'll we first read the examples of here when you Put nouns in the proposition. In okay, teacher. Okay, Bismillah. I'll buy to the house. Bill buy to in the house. Al masjidu the mosque. Fill masjid in the mosque. Al maktabu the desk. Al al maktabi on the desk. Asariu. The bed, on the bed. On the bed. So here you you see that when a proposition follows a noun, we have kasra. It was dama here, but we have kasra. It was dama here, but we have kasra. Dama here, kasra. Here is dama, but here I think it's kasra also, but, but they didn't put any vowels. So. When a proposition, when a noun is flowed by a proposition, it be, the dhamma becomes kasra. Okay, so Alwiya, your first, and uh, Nuranisa, second. Okay, teacher. I asked a question. Yes. Bismillah. Aina Muhammadun, where is Muhammad? Huwa fi al-qur, fi al-qurfatu, al-qurfati, huwa fi al-qurfati. He is... With the noun, huwa fi al-qurfati. Huwa fi al-qurfati. He is uh, in the bathroom. In the room. Ah, uh, in the room. He is in the room. Wa aina yasirun? And where is yasir? Huwa fil huwa fil huma huwa 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 fi fil hamma hammamu hammami. Yes. He he is uh, he is. Uh, uh, in the bathroom. Wa aina amina tu? And where is Amina? Ah, uh, he, he, fi, fi almat bi ho. Ah, he is, uh, he is in the kitchen. Hiya fi almat bi she is in the kitchen. She is in the kitchen. Here, fill maktabi. Mat baki. Mat mat baki mat baki. She is in the kitchen. Aina kitabu. Where is the book? Ah, uh, huwa. Huwa al huwa al al mak mak to be mak ah i mak mak to be ah he is in the desk. It is on the desk. It is on the desk. Ah, uh, I have a question, teacher. Ah, uh, huwa it means. Uh, this yes or he is he and it you can use for human beings things and animals all of it when it it's referred to a human being it's he when it re referred to things it's it 
understand. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Wa aina and where is the watch? Here, ala as here, ala asariru. Iya, ala asariri. Iya, ala asariri. Uh, it is uh, on on the on the on the on the bed siriri. on the bed. Okay, so I hope you guys have benefited something today. Inshallah, I have to finish the class in here. So see you on the Monday, inshallah. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum, teacher. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So, inshallah. Ma salama, teacher. Ma salama.